Welcome to World in Two Minutes. These are your headlines. The Syrian Observatory for Human Rights has reported that the Syrian Kurdish forces have effectively expelled ISIS from Kobani on June 27 and took back full control of the town on the Turkish border. ISIS had re-entered the town for the first time in six months on June 25th. Clashes between the YPG and ISIS to the south of the town were ongoing hours after an explosion hit. Disguised as Kurdish forces when entering the town, ISIS killed more than 300 civilians in Kobani in the last 24 hours. Foreign tourists are leaving Tunisia after the death of 39 tourists in an attack on a beach resort in the coastal town of Sousse. The Tunisian government has launched a crackdown on what it describes as extremist individuals. Prime Minister Habib Issid announced a plan to close down 80 mosques that are not state-controlled for inciting violence. Burundi is scheduled to hold parliamentary elections on July 29th and presidential elections on July 15th. Leading opposition candidate Agathon Rwasa has called on the postponement of elections until conditions to undergo fair and free elections are met. Rwasa has called on President Pierre Nkurunziza to withdraw his candidacy as he is in the violation of the constitution's two-term limit for presidents. More than 120,000 people have fled the country for fear of violence as UNHCR announces the influx for an additional 150,000 in the coming days. South Korea announced it is closely monitoring a hospital in eastern Seoul over fears that hundreds of people there may have been exposed to the deadly MERS virus. A woman who caught Middle East Respiratory Syndrome while visiting an infected relative in a different hospital was feared to have spread the virus to the new site. She died on June 25th, bringing the country's death toll from the virus to 32. There have now been 101 confirmed MERS cases in the nation. Thanks for watching TRTWorld.com Istanbul.